In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the resources that I use to learn web development. There are so many learning resources out there that can get really overwhelming very quickly. So here's what I use, um, just so you can get an idea of what you might want to use. Now, back in the beginning of March of this year, I learned what coding was and I did a little uh, Google search of how to code. And it led me eventually to Code Academy, which was great because Code Academy has a bunch of free and paid courses. So I started off with their free HTML and and CSS courses and I completed those and that's really what got me into uh, wanting to go for their paid course which is called Code Academy Pro and Code Academy Pro is good because they don't just have a web development they have tons and tons of different programs you can take and I got it on sale uh, I think I paid something like $125 for the entire year which would be about $10 a month so it really worked out for me What's cool about it is once you complete one of their courses, they give you this little uh, printable certificate so you can pretend that you actually accomplished something and have a little bit of self-confidence. Now I'm taking their front end career course, uh, which is expected to take uh, around six months, but I guess if you work faster, you can complete it in less time. And I find the pacing of their courses to be very good and on par with my learning style. In the beginning, I really like to go slow and learn each individual concepts and then have challenges that are really, really beginner level challenges. And that works out because in the beginning, you really do need that confidence boost and to feel good once you're beginning to learn. The bad thing for me about Code Academy is their projects. I really don't like their projects, especially once you start getting into JavaScript. So let's say their coursework is a two on a scale of one to 10 for difficulty. Once you get to the end of a certain topic, as far as coursework goes, they'll give you a project. And that project will be somewhere on like a level seven. And in that project, they'll throw in the same concepts, but in a completely different way from how they taught it, which I personally don't like. If I'm learning something in a way that's being taught to me, I want the project to reflect that same way that I was learning. And so I just stopped doing their projects entirely. And instead, what I will do is, uh, let's say I need to do a project on for loops. What I'll do is I'll, I'll go and do a Google search for beginner JavaScript for loops project, and then I'll use those to kind of practice and study. But other than that, I really like their platform. Now, back in June, I was having a really hard time understanding JavaScript. So I actually paid for a Udemy course. I think it was called the Complete JavaScript Course by Jonas Schmetman. And that course was really, really great at first. I was learning, the pacing was good, the concepts were easy to understand and the course provided assignments and things you could do outside of the course to really understand the concepts that were being taught in the course. Now about halfway through the course, I just got so bored of listening to it and following along that I, I can barely stay focused anymore. So I had to stop that course back in the beginning of August and that's when I went back to Code Academy. And those were my main two learning resources. Now in between that, I was also doing a lot of Googling and watching YouTube videos, specifically free Code Camps YouTube videos. They're really good and they explain a lot. And I use them to fill in a lot of the information that I was missing in my coursework, just things that I couldn't remember or I forgot how to do or I needed help with. And in the last few months, I have become a professional Googler. I mean, I have been Googling everything. I'll start on one topic and then that'll lead me into another topic and then that'll lead me into another topic and I just go down the uh, Google rabbit hole and I think professional Googler is going on my resume. Now that's it as far as my main learning resources go. In the future, I will be uploading videos on the side projects that I'm doing to really help solidify my learning. If that's something you're interested in, then uh, go ahead and leave a comment. And if you want to continue following me along this coding journey, please go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you next time. I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched my first video. You left a comment and subscribed. I really appreciate the support.